oh, sure. as a pre kind of release excite, excitement inducer, as it were. Good? Sounds good, okay, to me. Um, Alright, so yeah, what happened was my, uh, my publisher at the time said, hey, we want you to write with this guy, John McElroy. He's an old, you know, old school songwriter in Nashville. And I, I hadn't done many, as I've come, I've come to find out, they're called rights. I haven't done many rights. So, uh, so I said, sure, fuck it, why not, man? So uh, the tour bus dropped me off way out in one of the you know, suburbs where there's lots of roosters and, and clothes hanging on, on trees and things. And, uh, and it was, uh, I didn't know where, where I was going. I had an address, but it was sort of a moot point because there wasn't any numbers on any of the houses or mailboxes. So I knew what, where general vicinity. The first, they dro and the fucked up thing was that my bandmates and tour manager or whatever, they dropped me off and then the bus just left. <laughs> and so, I, well, the first house I pay, I said, well, maybe that house, that looks like the most respectable house, right? And I walked up the driveway and the guy stepped out on his front porch with his handbag here. And he said, who the fuck are you looking for? And I said, well, I'm looking for John McElroy, I'm supposed to write a song with him. He goes, you best turn around and get the fuck off my land. <laughs> and I'm going like, that's a fucking gun. <laughs> gun behind. Like, like my guitar cases just feel like a huge machine gun. Fuck <laughs> you. So, uh, which was not the case. It was actually just a guitar. And uh, so when I finally found this house that seemed maybe like it was it. And I, the front door was open and I stuck my head in and I said, Mr. McElroy? And I heard a guy go, watch out, there's ferret shit everywhere. <laughs> First words. And it was true. And in addition to dog, cat, bird, maybe snake. I don't know, there's a lot, a lot of animals going on. And um, super nice guy. He, first thing he said was, I've been watching you on YouTube, and I think your audience would appreciate it if you just walk up to the microphone and say, fuck. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, well, you know, actually, I really, I get, I get your point, because I think you're right. I think I've tried too hard to be likable, you know, <laughs> fuck that. But also, if I only said fuck, I think that that might not be enough to <laughs> placate the ticket buyers. And so, but I, but I heard him, and, and we, we sat down, it was 10 a.m., he pulled out a plastic bottle with whiskey in it and poured us each whiskey. And we, over the next two hours, wrote this, this song I'm going to play for you. And, uh, and it's, it's got an F-bomb or two in it, and it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. It's not autobiographical. But for me, it served the purpose of making me realize that I could write a shit ton of songs with say whatever the fuck I want. I could say fuck, I could say shit, I could, I could talk about doing it, I just, whatever. I didn't, you know, I've done that all throughout my career, but I've always thought I had to be poetic and sort of apologize and put it behind a firewall or whatever, but now this, this new old 97's record, there's, it's just, it's all up front. And uh, it was a great day, I really enjoyed it. He was a great guy. Uh, the, the moment that summed it all up for me was when I was so fucking drunk and high and we'd finally written the song and recorded a version of it and I thought I was gonna faint or whatever the male equivalent of that is. And I, I said, Mr. McElroy, I think I got, I think I gotta eat some food. And he goes, Oh, that's good because our fri our freezer's on the fritz, and I gotta eat all the shit that's in there. <laughs> so he took a bowl of last Thanksgiving's uh, stuffing and he put a, a, a wet paper towel in it and put it in the microwave and heated it up and mixed it up. And get, you know what? He was fucking great actually. <laughs> Until I, until I bit on a bone, and then it got not so great. And then, uh, but it was really sweet. Him and his wife blew cigarette smoke in my face and told me about their marriage. You know, and we've been married 20 good years. I'm about 25, you know. So, which is a line I later stole for another song. But then the moment that summed it all up for me was when his kid walked in. He's got like a 14-year-old son, and he walked in. He was naked except for like basketball shorts and they were real low, and a gun belt with a huge pistol in it. <laughs> like a functioning like Colt 45, some I don't even know. And he, and he said, Dad, where's the fucking bullets at? <laughs> and I thought, and scene. <laughs> Here's the song we came over with. Well, I married Caroline back in May of 99. Who was fucked up at the time, but I figured we'd keep trying. Her brother and her dad. They were spitting mad when I packed up what I had and took off running. It was bad, it was mean, I didn't care. And it's gotten me nowhere, so I'm trying to be a better man. Woo! 
I turn left, turns into right. I turn sunshine into night. I got my ass kicked every fight. No, I couldn't get it right. I built castles out of sand. I didn't understand why everything I planned ran like whiskey off my hands, and my hands were never clean. Things I wished I'd never seen. I'd do anything to wake up from this motherfucking dream. Food I got to blow. Get in this fucking show. It's dark in there, I know, and I got nowhere else to go. Well, I need a place to hide. So I put away my pride and come inside cause I'm tired of running yeah! And there's a universe that's floating out in space And I look up there and I can't find my face And I'm seeing my reflection backstage Writing down the same old words on the same old page Who I got to blow to get in this fucking show It's dark in there I know and I got nowhere else to go Need a place to hide So I put away my pride and go inside Cause I'm tired of running And I said who I got to blow to get in this fucking show It's dark in there I know and I got nowhere else to go I need a place to hide So I put away my pride and go inside Cause I'm tired of running